We're here with Craig Cal, uh, Calfi, and uh, he does these uh, amazing bikes right here. Uh, he does carbon fiber, he does bamboo, but rather than me talk about it, <laughs> Craig will talk about it a little bit. Uh, Craig, where, where did you get started? Because this is the most important question for me because I'm a shop teacher and my students are going to watch this. Where did it all start for you? Well, it started when I crashed my old Schwinn Varsity and I needed a new bike, but I couldn't afford to buy a whole bike. And I was working at a shop building carbon fiber rowing shells and kayaks. And so I had access to this weird black fiberglass stuff and thought this would make a great material for a bicycle. This is back in 1987 when nobody knew about this stuff. So I built my own bike, my frame, and put the parts on it. and. And it started from there. So you were making kayaks or, or boats or something? Like yeah, that? rowing shells in Massachusetts. Rowing shells. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So we're down. We're I'm I'm in New Jersey, and there's not much rowing, you know, culture back there. But those who don't know, there's in, in Boston they have the Charles River, and they have these beautiful long boats, and they race, and there's yep. a lot of people involved in that. That's interesting. Okay. And did you study any mechanics or anything like that in high school? Not really. In, in high school, I had a great shop teacher, okay. so we, I learned a lot about woodworking. Wow. And then I was a carpenter for a while oh, as no well, kidding. so really? I started getting into carpentry. And those skills helped me figure out angles and geometry and joining methods and glue and wow. yeah, all that. It's yeah, the, there's not enough emphasis on shop skills, and I think it helped me a lot. That's for sure. Wow. See, now, now I didn't have it growing up, so I had to do a lot of makeup later. I had a lot of remote control cars, and, yeah. and you know, I played around with stuff like this, and then uh, I used to hang around junkyards and look at parts. Yeah. You know, this is, you could do anything, you had to do something, you yeah. know? And it's weird because now I'm the shop teacher, so I'm always looking um, to talk to the students and talk to the administrators about how important it is to have a shop. Our shop is very well supported, but the towns next to us, they get rid of them. Mm. Um, and they only bring back robotics programs. Yeah, the 3D printers. Yes, the 3D printer. Little 2D graphics things. Yeah. Yeah, the world is changing, and there's not a lot of hands-on stuff anymore. Yeah. But the 3D printing is, has its place. And we use 3D printing to make molds for the carbon fiber work. Oh, so no kidding. We're finding places for it wow. and using it. But, uh, but yeah, but knowing which end of a screwdriver to hold is right. kind of important. So uh, we 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 have a miniature milling machine and we have an old lathe from the 40s. Yeah. And so people don't understand what this is. So I just tell them, well, it's a 3D cutter instead of a 3D <laughs> printer. It's the same thing, you know. Well, not quite. There's additive manufacturing yeah. and there's cutting, you know, removing yeah. the stock from a big piece. But, uh, yeah, both of those are important. Yeah. Well, um, cool, and is there anything highlighted today you want to talk about? Um, besides, you, you have your bamboo bikes, you have your carbon fiber bikes. Is there anything particular we should uh, take a look at? That's new? Well, there's, uh, we do our bamboo DIY kit, which oh, is actually okay. coming into schools. Oh, really? uh, school districts are buying them and setting up a program, like either after school program or a shop type of class. Okay. And they're buying, we have a tool set. And our latest on that is um, carbon fiber reinforced bamboo. Wow. You heard okay. the, the dropping of bamboo in the background there? Yeah. Well, let me show you what that is. Okay. Those bamboo. Yeah, so this is a carbon fiber reinforced uh, bamboo. Okay. And this is, so yeah, inside is the carbon reinforcement. Wow. Now this is our regular bamboo. Here. This is what it was to get the same stiffness. Mm -hmm. We have to go pretty thick wall. Okay. So, but they're kind of heavy. Okay. And we wanted to reduce the uh, weight. Wow. And this one Okay, is, this is like significantly lighter. Wow. Yeah, so that's the latest. And we'll be offering these tubes to the DIY kit wow. uh, in the near future. This is uh, very new right now. I remember seeing you at the Philly Bike Show Maybe four or five years ago, and you uh, had you were two, doing two or three years two, three, ago, okay. yep. and you had a DIY in the works. Yeah, I didn't know this was available. Oh yeah, I, I'm definitely yeah, interested yeah, in doing this at the at the high school. I yeah. would love to do that. It's perfect for high schools. Younger than that, it gets a little sketchy. Okay. But, uh, Is yes. it available on your website? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we're gonna try and get a purchase for this. Yeah, check it out. Good. It's pretty economical. Okay. It's relatively easy. Nice. But it does challenge people to like use their eye and yeah. know how to work a drill right. and all this stuff. 
What's missing from the set that we would still need? Parts from a different bike, maybe rims? And well, we sell that? those metal parts. Okay. No, yeah, the bike parts, like the wheels, the fork. Okay. Those parts you'll have to supply on your own. Okay. So there's mechanics programs that are available, but in our case, it's just a frame. Okay. And then, um, what about the inserts? Like, the there? Yeah, the, the dropouts in particular. The bottom bracket shell. This is the dropout. Okay. And the bottom bracket shell, you can't see it, it's inside there. There's also a sleeve in the head tube where we press the bearings into. Okay. And uh, this part here, which you can almost see, is a uh, seat insert. So those are machined parts that become part of the frame. Okay. And you can buy those from us as well. Perfect. Yeah. Well, this is excellent. Thank you so much for taking the time to do the interview. All right, I'm Mr. G. Uh, this is Cal, Cal, I always mess this up. I get nervous in front of people. <laughs> okay, tell me your first name again. Craig. Craig Cal, Calfield. You got it. And he's got a beautiful, and you have a great Instagram and a great website. And if you want to follow along, you see a lot of cool stuff he's doing. Okay, Thank thanks you. a lot. See you later. Hey, thanks for doing that. Yeah, you're